Hi everybody, just a very brief video today to look at actually a couple of tools that'll help us when it comes to creating some geometry within our models, specifically when that geometry needs to be tangent or perpendicular. So let me explain. I've got a model right now that just contains a simple arc. This arc could represent any number of things, but the important thing is it is an arc, and what I would like is I would like a line segment from the end of the arc that is tangent back to the arc. So I'd like it to be 100 units long, 100 feet, 100 meters, whatever the case may be, but I'd like it to be tangent to a point on the arc that I specify. Now, if we're using standard AutoCAD commands to create geometry, everything is based off the concept of we're going to draw a line or a segment from a point tangent back to an object. In this case, I don't want to draw from something uh, tangent back to the arc. I'd like to draw from the tangent point that I specify and then draw away from the object, maintaining that tangency. So the way that I'll do that, the command is actually line tangent. So if I type in line T-A-N for tangent, using autocomplete, we'll hit enter. Select arc or line object. We'll select our arc. I can specify the point of tangency or from, you know, tangency from that point. We'll say from the end point of here. And then the direction that I would like to go will come off in this direction 100 units. I'll hit enter and it automatically creates for us a segment that is 100 units long that is tangent from that point away from the arc. All right, I can also find that tool on the home ribbon coming over under the draw menu. If we select on that panel for line, it's actually the last two we're going to look at line tangent. You can see that one just barely on the screen here. And because of my resolution, there's also perpendicular is what we'll look at next. Um, that one's down here at the bottom as well. But for right now, we'll just take and type it in. So we've seen line tangent. The other one that I may want to do is I want to draw a line perpendicular from an object. Once again, if I'm dealing with straight AutoCAD commands, if I knew the point that I was working at or from, I'd like to draw perpendicular to my arc. That would be very easy to do. But if I'd like to draw perpendicular from the arc, uh, doing it geometrically would, you know, I'd have to draw from the center point through that point, extend it. Instead, if, say, I want to draw from the midpoint of this uh, curve, uh, 100 units perpendicular from the curve, I could do that in a single step by using the line perpendicular command. We'll uh, say line uh, perpendicular. Select my arc or line object. In this case, it's the arc. Specify the perpendicular point. We'll say the midpoint of right here. I'll pull off in this direction. Then the distance we're going to go, we'll say, is uh, 80 feet. We'll hit enter. It draws my segment that's perpendicular from the arc off into that direction. All right, so once again, two very helpful tools as it relates to creating geometry within our models. One helps us drawing tangent from an object or perpendicular from an object, that being the line perpendicular or the line tangent commands. Hope this is helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.